Howdy folks, Ursine here. Uh, I just wanted to do this video to teach you all how to make your own custom .scl files to use with uh, Retune for a live system. So um, yeah, let's check it out. Right now I'm in a, a Gamelon tuning that I included in my Ursine's favorite SCL files. Um, but yeah, to make your own, first of all, let's just check out the Scala scale file format website made by uh, some folks with a name that I cannot pronounce, but I'm very, very thankful to them for creating such an elegant and uh, widespread tuning standard. Um, yeah, so here we are. The rules, I'll just summarize. Basically, this right here is a valid file. You have comments beginning with an exclamation point, so comment lines will not be read, um, but it's good to include the name of your scale here. And uh, then the first non-comment line is a description of the tuning. So right here actually loads right, right down into here just for your reference when you're playing with the SEL files. That's your first line. Your second non-comment line is very important. It says how many notes you have in your scale. So if you count, here's 12 notes and how many lines here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you should have 12 lines detailed with 12 notes. So here's the thing. You start not on your first fundamental note because that's already implied, but you begin on the second note of the scale. So how far up do you go from your second note? And for your third note, and your fourth note, and your fifth note. And these are, so these are in cents above your fundamental, and this is a ratio um, multiplying your fundamental frequency. So Scala scale files accept either cents or ratios. Um, nothing else except numbers, dots, and slashes allowed. So get all the way up here to the octave, 2 slash 1. That's an octave up. So yeah, that's a very, very simple way of defining some pretty exciting um, complex tuning stuff. Um, so let's make our own. Um, I thought we could just experiment by making an overtone tuning. So just maybe the first uh, 16 notes of the overtone scale. So here we go, overtone, status CL, uh, blank comment line, and here's our description of the scale. First, 15 partials of the overtone series. And so let's say there's 15 notes, and here we go. So we start out with our fundamental, which we don't write, we don't do one over one, because then that's the second note of the scale. We'll start with the second note of the scale, two over one, so it starts out with an octave, and then an octave and a fifth, and then so on, following the harmonic series. All right, let's see if we did it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 notes. All right, so that is how it's done. If you make a mistake, Retune for Live will let you know, but let's just try this. So save, let's save it as overtones.scl. That's our format. Okay, and let's fire it up here, load.scl tuning file on the desktop, overtones.scl. So it's our first 15 partials of the overtone series. Let's listen. Okay, sounds pretty good. Um, so Retune for Live takes the Scala file and it maps it upward one note per line chromatically. 
And then it also maps it downward one note per line chromatically. So you can start like this in the top note. So, uh, yeah, those of you who are interested in making your own Scala files to mess with uh, Retune for Live, it's a great, quick, easy way to get some ideas into a scale. Um, we didn't use any cent values in here. Um, we could have definitely done, uh, for example, 1,200 cents instead of 2 or 1, um, or... 2400 cents instead of 4 over 1 cents have a period in them. Um, but yeah, so these all used ratios because that's kind of what the harmonic series is. But yeah, so there's just a quick um, explanation of .scl files. I hope you make good use of them and retune for live. Please let me know what you think of retune for live. I'd love to hear from you. Um, thanks very much for your interest, and Earth sign out.